Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. This is once again your man Bob and Mom, aka Dr. Wild Card. Welcome you to Monster Prom. Now, I have to warn you, there is profanity in this game. So, if that bothers you, I'm not going to read it out loud, but it may occasionally appear on screen. So, if that bothers you, uh, yeah, sorry about that. But yeah, anyway. Let's do this. Malcolm! Jenkins! In case you forgot, I'm rewriting the Leroy Jenkins meme as Malcolm Jenkins. Because Malcolm Jenkins is one of the Philadelphia Eagles, the Super Bowl champs. Let's go. As it said, really dig this music already. Okay, so one play. Spooky High School, the sweetest years of our lives. In case you've forgotten, I, I trace over the words to see if anything turns on hyperlinks, that's why I'm doing this. Back then we were young and unafraid. Sometimes reckless, sometimes brilliant, sometimes just stupid, but always willing to live life to the fullest. on a wild journey to discover who we really were. Get to experience this ultimate challenge, the monster prom. Very clearly, three weeks were left, and if we fantasize about our dream prom dates, we were all scrambling to catch the attention of one of the city's most charismatic classmates. Miranda Vanderbilt, 19, a sweet mermaid princess who was as <laughs> cute as she was genocidal. This is hilarious already. I heard it was gone vividly. Didn't know it was gonna be this early. Amy of A, 21. Fear of Steven with a taste for destruction and love of fire. Scott Howe, 21. Werewolf athlete who compensate for his rather small brain with a stupidly large heart. Liam the Lion Corp for double X-ray. X-ray is the military phonetics for the civilian X. A hipster vampire whose standoff is to me or Hitty was a truly lovable dork. Polly Geist, 22? Party ghost with an insatiable hunger for all the wrong things. Vera Overton, 23, a mean, self-aware Gorgon with a merciless sense of business. It was clear, had to be one of them, but who? We only had three weeks to choose our prom date, and, we even, and even more daunting, we only had three weeks to rule them and talk to their heart.
As I already said, we were young and not afraid, so we were ready to start. Teen Wolf, nice. That's a throwback to a show from decades ago. Starring the great Steve McQueen, who my salute to heaven says I speak his name for he had served in the military. Welcome to Monster Prop's stupidest pop quiz ever. All minds are rotten, but they are rotten in so many different ways. We already know more. We are using our PhD in bowl to diagnose what kind of deviant sicko you are. Monster Prop's stupidest pop quiz ever. We'll throw a bunch of absurd questions at you and turn your answers into your character's stats. Oh, we know I'm supposed to read that in that voice and oh well. This way each of you will start by having stats that better reflect your true self. Let's start. School is outdated and lame indeed. We need a new subject ASAP. Turning people into puppets through emotional warfare and deceptions. 101, or is that oh well, I can't tell. How to correctly punch a crocodile <laughs> without terrible consequences. <laughs> or critical thought. I mean, Dawn, this country could really use a subject like that in school. Well, this is indeed true, this is true of Spandau Ballet. That's a uh, reference to the song from the band called Spandau Ballet. Back in the 80s, 83 I think it was, it had the song True, which is a tribute to Motown legend Marvin Gaye, so I'm going to go with that. I wouldn't say that. What would be the best way of choosing the leaders of modern society? For all the candidates in the empty room or a wild grizzly bear, whoever kills the bear should be president. If everyone dies, then it's obvious the bear should be our president. We create a reality show called America's Next Top President where the candidates compete in all kinds of physical and mental challenges. Voter turnout would increase and we'd have a profit on it. Yeah, that's interesting. We'd have a profit. Or whoever can play the most heart-breaking solo violin solo wins. This actually would be kind of cool to see. The way politics are these days. Just a bunch of mudsling crap. Cool to see something fresh and original. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I like this game already. It's funny. <laughs> Tequila and Coke. If you were an ice cream fan, which would be success. Double creme de la crepe and meringues. Meat. Rainbows and gummy bears, spicy chocolate, no, chocolate on fire! Hmm. Well, I do love chocolate and I do love fire, part being a boy scout. We have enormous bonfires every time we go camping. But I also consider myself to be quite a successful type if I do say so myself. It's a shame they don't have bacon here. Oh well. Um, yeah, let's go with this. Okay, so 
smart slider, coldness 7, shape 85, shot 4, front 3, front 5. And there is of course nothing in terms of a kind of tutorial. I'm a powerhouse in real life if I do say so myself, so yeah, why not with this new phrase? That day an epic surprise ball match takes place. Everything seems lost, but you live in an inspirational speech that fuels your team spirit. Leading to a spectacular comeback. You're clearly a natural ball leader. Sounds that right. Game plus two charm. As you go about your day, you can't help but notice Damien and Scott trying on business suits. It's business suits. By the time you get over to them, they, they both take their suits off and examine their trade. That's what you said. Something still isn't right. Yeah, I really don't want to have an so Pokemon's cosplay. Coach says it's always used for full. <laughs> wow. I'm with you, man. No way gives more of a crap about the classic Pocket Humans video game than we. Oh, jeez. Yeah, as I said, uh, I'll just try to sense that. There we go. What would the tax we missing, man? We've got the suits, the hard and rim glasses, the sticky, the sickly pale body paint. Everything we need to cosplay is Doug and Wilbert. <laughs> the twin tags of real estate? What? I know who they are, Scott. I played the damn game. Now come on, help me think of what we're missing. No right away that the costume you need. Reach into your bag and pull out the one thing no human would be caught dead for that. Yes! This is me. This is the American way, guns. Yes! Yes! This is exactly what my costume needed. Come on, Scott, put on your mask with his over the convention. Okay, Damien. Hey, by the way, why is the convention happening at the First National Bank? In the middle of the day, on weekday? That's a good question. Humans don't ask questions, Scott. Come on, let's go over to rob that. I mean, make some friends. That gunning. Why is it the gun mine? Gunning is the American way. It's plus two fun and plus one bolts. <laughs> Mermaid, right? Yeah, yeah, Miranda. You come and find Damien staring at Miranda's elaborate silverware spread while her eating surfs chow down obediently at her neighboring table. I still don't get why you collect all these stupid forks and spoons and crap. 
I mean, the knives don't even look that deadly. Silly boy, this silverware is not for killing. <laughs> I dig this guy's style. Things can be used for stuff other than killing? Triple question mark. <laughs> That's lame as hell. It's basically useless. I mean, you don't even eat. You're served to it for you. Well, of course they do. But they're not using any of your silverware. Naturally they aren't. Serfs must eat with their hands as benefits the lower classes. Okay, maybe she's not that awesome after all. Well, of course. It's not really awesome to be murderous. I just thought that was funny the way she was described. Lower classes. And so you're saying this silverware collection has no practical purpose? Things have practical purposes? These two could go around and around like this forever unless you say something to yourself that's just pretty... <laughs> Maybe it is time you start murdering people with your silverware. <laughs> Exotic corpses. <laughs> This is awesome. That's different. Uh, that's different. Those corpses are useful. Useful for what? For... For... Holding down important documents. What important documents? Documents... About... Very... Important... Ah, oh, fine! I guess I don't use the stupid corpses for anything. I just stack them in a shed and occasionally dress them up in silly costumes. There, you happy? Extremely. She's got Undertale save point eyes. <laughs> Whatever, I'm gonna play with my corpses. <laughs> Stay behind for Rand to admire her collection. She even teaches you how to, rom to use the romance fork. Smooth. You're about to be illuminated by a player from the other team. Sailing convinced you. <laughs> okay. It's much different from the last time. Sailing convinced him not to throw the ball at you with a heartfelt speech about the importance of everyone's lives. The player burst out to tears and you take advantage. Yeah! <laughs> Take advantage of that weakness, throwing the ball at him. And do, well, you don't have mercy in dodgeball. You just don't. It's just a given. Later, you see him and Miranda Chang and being a nosy you will. <laughs> You decide to insert yourself into the conversation. I look forward to this adventure, so... I look forward to this adventure, so... Is there anything more wonderful than getting insight into the lives of commoners? You better not pull that crap all the whole time. 
My dad's a wards of hell, you know. Technically, I'm royalty too. Are you though? Amy rolls, Amy rolls his eyes and turns to you. Mrs. Panther paired us up her hands on homework assignment. Going on an adventure. Apparently, I had some anger issues and a thirst for violence, so I should be channeling it to something productive. Like, a thirst for violence isn't productive in and of itself. And I'm supposed to be working on being more independent. Which is strange since I took my. Told my ladies and gentlemen waiting to fix that for me last week. I wonder what sort of adventure might give us the wonderful experience we need to fix our perceived but obviously non existent flaws. She's apparently a mermaid, and apparently this would work for her. And I've always wanted to say this anyway. Release the Kraken! Oh. Oh, jeez. There's no way of going back. Oh, no! No! Hey, good call, actually. Brand is already familiar with the ocean, but she can be a little more independent. I have absolutely no problems being independent. I know because I paid my servants to tell me that. You're the one who has the issues to be worked out, Damien. And an undersea event will be perfect. You cannot fight fire fire underwater. There's no fire there. Well, it might be Greek fire, which was a weapon that was in the ancient times and was completely even if you submerged it more than anyway. Fair enough, I can channel my violence into something productive like killing this Kraken. Normally I don't condone killing for killing's sake. But this isn't for the sake of killing, it's for the sake of getting me pearls. Two of them dash off crackling briefly. <laughs> they get full marks on their side and drag everyone about this room and listen. Rand is made a pearl focal point of the choker and David looks dashing at his looks dashing his crack in the tankle hat. You gain new appreciation for cephalopride themed headgear and you gain plus two smarts and plus one fun. Okay, since that's first week, I think that's a good place to stop. Today, what I'm doing, ladies and gentlemen, please consider subscribing. I know we're so back. Really well, ladies and gentlemen.